Yeah, we got bragging rights. The swag bowl, we get the t-shirt. It was a lot of fun. Kids did a good job. You know, we want to put them in a competitive situation and see how some guys react. Uh, good example, last spring we had the same situation. Daniel Riddle played well and ended up being a really good player for this year unexpectedly. And uh, it's a lot of fun. We want to make it competitive, not just have your traditional offense versus defense, but divide the team up. And I uh, thought the guys did a good job. And we got bragging rights. And uh, there was a lot riding between coaches on this, too. So it's going to be fun to go in there and be able to stick your chest out a little bit more. I know Coach Ray and those guys, they, they, they know we beat them. So that's always a good way to finish it up. And it was fun. Tell you what, the, the greatest thing was to watch these uh, Brad Glenn on fourth and three right over here in our territory call timeout, and then kick the field goal. Because all I ever hear on Saturday, let's go for it, coach, let's go for it, we can get it. And then he kicks the field goal. So that was the best thing for me today. I said, we just gonna go for it, it doesn't matter. And then uh, I think we were like, uh, I don't know, I think the ball was on the 15 yard line. And I said, we'd called a timeout or there was a timeout. I said, go for it. And then the kicker came up to me and said, coach, I hit it from here. I said, you can hit it. He said, yeah. So uh, that's why we went with the kick. Uh, those guys worked their tails off for 14 straight days and uh, got a ton out of spring ball. And then to come out here and pick teams and pick coaches and managers and trainers and everything, you know, that was the number one goal for us is for those guys to come out and have fun this last practice. So it went well, went all the way down to the wire. It was perfect last play. So it was a, it was a great day for us. Well, once we, for once we had an experienced group, we, we kept our starters polished. They got better. But we got to develop a lot of uh, second-tier players. Uh, guys like Wes Holcomb, he showed that he can move this football team. Uh, showed our team that, hey, you know, if something happens to Troy, next man step up, and that's Wes right now. Uh, you know, and that, that happened all the way across the board. Um, you know, we stayed healthy. That's a tribute to Coach Barr and our, our strength staff and these players and the work and effort they put into it. And now we got to follow it with a big summer. Uh, leading into the preseason. Uh, but, you know, today we didn't have a lot of penalties. We had a few there at the very end, but, you know, I, I can remember our first springs here. I had pages and pages of writing down penalties and offsides and false starts. And, uh, you know, it's, it's fun to have and coach a, a veteran football team. And, uh, you know, I just, I think these guys are heading in the right direction. I told them at the end of the day, uh, you know, culture's changed in Cullowee. It doesn't mean anything other than uh, this group setting the bar and the expectation. You know, culture change as far as being a competitive football team and, and having the opportunity to go win a Southern Conference. I think we can legitimately talk about that now. But at the end of the day, uh, you know, you got to play your very best. You got to have a great summer, great preseason. And it's uh, up to these players to set that expectation and set that ball. Uh, the loser is going to have to serve dinner to the uh, to the winners. So uh, so anyway and, and uh, you know get a whole summer of bragging rights. So but I thought it was a heck of a game. Uh, you know the kid the players picked the teams, they picked the strength coaches, head coaches. So uh, did a pretty good job. It came down to to the very end. So it, it was a great day. Great crowd. Thanks to all the Catamount faithful. What a weekend here. Here, uh, you know, we had the Mutt Grafton Reed uh, first annual Mutt Classic yesterday. Had a great turnout. Uh, uh, Josh Jones comes in and, uh, you know, just almost kicks that field goal. But thanks to Kevin Harvick, uh, wow, you know, he, he earned a lot of, there's a lot of purple and gold Kevin Harvick fans now. Uh, just a class act by Kevin Harvick. He said it, I got to FaceTime with him um, with Josh Jones and he said it was worth the 10,000 that he's gonna be able to uh, put it to Josh, you know, uh, for us giving the opportunity for him to be able to do that for Josh. So, you know, and then I'm taking off with my brother that are gonna go fly, uh, fly up to Boston and go to a Red Sox game tomorrow at Fenway, run the Boston Marathon tomorrow, you know, we're uh, you know, our thoughts and prayers out for Steve Burns, who was here earlier at an earlier scrimmage here this spring. He was a NASCAR uh, pit reporter, good friend of Catamount family and, and ours. And uh, thinking about Steve, you know, Bristol Race is going to be named after Steve Burns. And so well, I'm going to wear the Burns Strong uh, t shirt there in Boston. And so what a weekend. Just, uh, man, it's great to be in Colorway. Purple beat the gold.
You know, our players have been wanting me to get gold jerseys. Now I can tell them that's why we're not getting gold jerseys. The, the purple one. So, uh, but it was a great day. The Cats won today. And uh, just the fans out here was awesome. The weather held off. Coach Mutt's up there uh, helping us out with the weather. And just a great day to be a Cat.